Hey guys, this is a video on how to make a flashcard out of a sentence. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is you need to find a sentence, which you probably have already done. So here's a sentence um, which I've taken from one of my lessons. So if you're looking through any of my resources or courses or anything I put online, um, you can just copy and paste the sentence. It's usually in a Google Sheets file like this. Or if you're online or looking for a word in a website that I love called Milog, which is a Hebrew Hebrew dictionary, you can often find example sentences here in the definition section. So this is for more advanced students. Or you might be reading an article online or something like that and you can just copy and paste. So find your sentence, that's step number one. We're going to take this and we're going to copy this sentence. And then we're going to make sure Anki's open. We're going to click on add. Up here we should have an option, Hebrew sentence card. Okay, if you downloaded the deck of Anki cards that I've made, then you'll have all of these options. And you want to click on Hebrew sentence card. And over here, where deck, well, this is up to you. I'm going to click on default. Okay, this is where the flashcard's going to go. All right, let's make the flashcard. Where it says sentence, we're going to paste the sentence. Okay. Our word that we didn't know is signon, which kind of means style. So we're going to cut the word, put in a like fill in the blank here where the word was, and paste the word in this answer section. Up in image, we're going to go find an image that represents this word, signon, so style. And the sentence is, Ani ohevet a signon shela atar. So it's the style of the, the website we're talking about. So I go into Google Images, find a few cool looking websites with cool styles. I'll copy and paste one or two pictures into Anki. Okay, so you can paste as many pictures as you want. I've pasted two, more or less has given me a sense that we're talking about kind of a style or a look of a website. Where it says pronunciation down here, if you do have an Israeli handy, you can ask them to record into your card, which is great because you can really work on your pronunciation. Ani ohevet a signon shel atar. Ani ohevet a signon shel atar. And that copies straight in here. So again, I just clicked on this red button while the cursor was inside the pronunciation section and it copies straight in. Where it says make two cards, I always want to click two, yes, because we're going to make two cards really for the price of one. And where it says mnemonic, don't worry about that. You can just finish your card by clicking add down here. Okay, it's added. I'm going to close. And here where it's default, this deck that I created the card into, I'm going to click into default. And I'm going to study these cards. So this is how it'll look. We just made two cards. So click study now. There's your card. You have to fill in the blank. So I want you to read the sentence out loud. Think about the word. This is the whole beauty of the card. It's trying to test your memory. Think about the word. And if you know it, say the whole sentence. Click show answer to check. And there you go, you've got your audio, you've got your answer down here. If you got it right, you click easy. Wrong, click again. Somewhere in the middle of right and wrong, you can click on good. I'm going to click easy. And then there's one other card, okay? Which is a card you have to create your own sentence. So it's going to look like this. You first kind of have to recognize the word and then think of any sentence with that word. Any sentence you want. Is a signon magniv. Okay, it doesn't have to be a sentence that you that you just did. It can be any sentence you want. And here's our example sentence again. So as long as you're able to think of any sentence, you click easy, and that's it. That's how you make flashcards um, out of sentences, which are really the ideal flashcard when you've actually got a full sentence so you can learn about a word in context of how it's actually used. Yala, see you on the next video.